sorry, my camera quit. Continuing to prescribe me with the drug that was causing the sleepwalking and sleep eating. I mean, I mean, sleepwalking that was torturing my life and I couldn't work. Like sleepwalking all night long, every night and sleep eating and waking up choking on food, critically sleep deprived. And they continued to prescribe that drug, continued to misdiagnose me. And I would see other doctors along the way and they would see what medications I was on. And they would go, well, who diagnosed you with sleep-related eating disorder? And I would tell them and they would look at me and say nothing. And I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't figure out what was happening. You know what was happening? They knew I was sleepwalking from the Zopaclone, but they were afraid to tell me. They were afraid to expose the doctor who was misdiagnosing me. So they all kept their mouth shut. And then when I finally got to see a sleep respirologist, we're paying this guy, this specialist, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And he knew what was making me sleepwalk, and he kept his mouth shut. Because the biggest, most important thing here is to protect doctors, not to get the patient help. So I continue to sleepwalk. Until in the middle of the night, two years ago, I found an article from the CBC of people sleepwalking and jumping off bridges and stuff from Zabaclone. I was terrified to sleep because I was waking up outside in barefoot in the snow with nothing but a little night going on. Terrified to sleep, pushing furniture in front of the door at night. Because I was being misdiagnosed and the doctors who knew I was being misdiagnosed wouldn't tell me the truth. That's just one tiny that's one that's just one example of what has been done to me here that's one of more than a dozen horrific examples of negligence that has happened to me here the lying the gaslighting the covering up is all horrendous betrayal and psychological abuse and I've lost everything because of these doctors. And I'm going to lose my life if I don't get proper care. I'm going to lose my life if I don't get surgery to open my airways. And proper medical care. The lying and the gaslighting and the dirty lies in my medical records. And the disrespect. And the lack of integrity. That's another huge thing, the lack of integrity. Instead of admitting what you've done wrong, admitting the mistakes you've made and apologizing to the patient and treating the patient with dignity, you're telling the pa you're telling other doctors that the patient is lying about you. That is so dirty and small and completely lacks integrity. So that doctor who misdiagnosed me with sleep-related eating disorder lied and said she didn't, she doesn't remember diagnosing me with that. And then they lied. And this is a common trick that doctors pull. Doctors train their secretaries to do, their receptionists. Very, very common. They will say that you've been abusive on the phone and then refuse your calls. It's very common. Tons of us have been abused this way. And that's what that doctor did to me as well. The doctor who misdiagnosed me with sleep-related eating disorder and continued to torture. The torture continued. The lack of integrity. The psychological abuse. I've lost, I'm going to, I've lost almost everything. Literally. 
literally, I don't think I've lost almost everything. And I don't feel like I've lost almost everything. Like so many people say out there, I have literally lost almost everything. Like my full-time job, my part-time job, my car, all relationships, all ability to function, all friendships, because I'm too impaired, I am disabled. I'm sleeping two or three hours a night. I'm dying. I can't fun function. I'm stopping breathing. My airways are closing. And I'm going to lose my life if I don't get help. But in the end, you know, what was the worst? The disrespect and the psychological abuse from all the lying and gaslighting and covering up of what they've done to me. That is the worst of all of this.